Hello Young Math Padawans, it's Mrs. Angel with your notes for today on systems of equations. So first, what is a system of equations? Well, a system means a set of two or more equations, or really functions, that may or may not have a common solution. What we're really looking for here is an intersection. If there is an intersection point, that means that point is on both lines, and it is a common solution. So looking at our first problem here, the directions ask us to graph each line to determine the common solution to the system. If the equation is in slope-intercept form, we identify the slope and y-intercept and find all solution points on the line. And if it is not in slope-intercept form, we're going to convert it. So let's get started. First equation, line A, is in slope-intercept form. So the slope of this line is the multiplier of x. The y-intercept of this line is our constant. So our slope here is 1 over 2, and our y-intercept at 0, 2. Let's graph that line. And since this line had a name, it was labeled as line A, I'm going to go ahead and label that line A. Now every single point on this line is a solution to line A specifically. But now we're going to look at line B, They're doing the exact same thing. We're going to start by identifying the slope and the y-intercept. The slope of this line is negative 1 over 2, and the y-intercept of this line is 0, 4, so let's graph this line. and we're going to label this line B. Now one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that these lines intersect each other. They have a common solution point. That intersection is the solution to both of our lines, A and B, because it's on both lines. And that solution is at 2, 3. So how do we know that this is actually the solution to the system or the solution to both? We're going to check 2, 3 in both of our equations. So we'll plug in 2 for x to see if it generates 3 for y. So y equals 1 half times 2 plus 2. 1 half of 2 is 1 plus 2. y equals 3. So when I input 2, my output is 3 for line A. Y equals negative 1 half times 2 plus 4. y equals negative 1 plus 4. Y equals three. So when I input 2, my output is 3 for line B. Therefore, I know that the solution to this system, or in other words, the solution to both, is 2, 3. In our next example, we have some work to do because these equations are not in slope-intercept form. So before we can do anything else, we are going to solve for y in both, converting them to slope-intercept form. I'm going to start by subtracting 2x from both sides to make a zero term. That leaves me with negative 3y equals 12 minus 2x. Now I can divide all terms by negative 3 because that makes a big one factor. And my final equation is y equals negative 4 and then my negative divided by a negative changes this into a positive 2 over 3x. Now I can see that the slope of this line is positive 2 over 3, and the y-intercept here is negative 4. So starting at negative 4, let's graph this line. And this is the graph of line A all solutions to equation A. We're going to start line B the same way. Now I'm going to add 2x to both sides to make that negative 2x into a zero term. And I have negative y equals 4 plus 2x. To get rid of negative y, I'm going to divide everything by negative 1 because that creates a big one factor. And I'm left with y equals negative 4 minus 2x, because that positive 2 divided by negative 1 changes that into a negative. 
So my slope here is negative 2, and my y-intercept, negative 4. Negative 2 over 1, y-intercept, negative 4. So here we go, starting at 0, negative 4, going down 2 and right 1. And we'll label this line B. So where do these lines intersect? They intersect right here at the y-intercept. This is our solution. And that's at the point 0, negative 4. So we're going to plug that into both original equations to see if it is a solution to the system. So times 0, minus 3 times negative 4 equals 12, 0, plus 12 equals 12, so I know that it is a solution to line A. Negative 2 times 0 minus negative 4 equals 4. 0 plus 4 equals 4. Yes, it does. So I know that it is a solution to line B, and the solution to the system here is 0, negative 4. To recap, the first thing you do is graph both lines in the same coordinate plane. Keep in mind, you might have to do some converting. You're looking for a common solution point, which is the intersection of both lines. That means that point is on both lines and a solution to both, and you're checking it in both of the original functions. That's it for today's lesson. I will see you next time.